Yes, I sure can. Yeah, go and ahead. Uh, the congresswoman has just arrived here, and uh, she's ready to talk to us. We have a group of folks uh, all ready for her. So, Congresswoman, uh, it looks uh, like you're up by a couple of points uh, here. It's still early, I know. Oh, yeah. But how do you feel? Um, I feel optimistic. I really do. Uh, I was I was very heavily outraised, and you saw what you've seen across the country tonight. Uh, a lot of Republicans and very Republican seats um, are losing their seats, and I've maintained for a long time this is a very independent seat. And so to to have that, it's a modest lead, right? We're not done. Um, makes me want two things. I want to say uh, thank you to the folks in Southwest Washington, um, and I'm humbled. I've not felt like I was entitled to the seat and so coming you know people are like well you're you're not so far ahead and I look at it and I think this is an amazing place to be given the context I I am I'm cautiously optimistic what has it been like for you being in a really tight race like this because you haven't been in a tight race since your uh, my first race your first race yeah, yeah. Um, this is a lot it's very similar to that first race in fact the numbers right now are similar to where the numbers were in that first race it, like I said you know I grew up here I, I have maintained this this is a independent minded district I'm the second Republican to have it in the last 60 plus years and really the only pickup seat on the West Coast for Republicans in uh, gosh, a, a number of years. So it's not. It, so for me, I feel I feel honored and humbled to be at this point. And quite, you know what? I'm I'm the 15th most bipartisan member of Congress. Um, so that's that. I think some of this is kind of an, uh, a, a recognition that that's how I've charted my course. That's what I've done. I've been very focused on the local issues, needs here, whether it's tolling or flooding in Chehalis or or making sure that we're taking care of our endangered Columbia River salmon. Right? Those are all things that resonate with voters here regardless of party and so I I, I feel good about where we're at assuming you win is there anything you will do different over the next couple of years I think this is one of the benefits you know what you're gonna get you know I like I said I'm the 15th most bipartisan member um, most of my big accomplishments have been cross-party aisle to the benefit of the folks here and I'm gonna continue that trek you know the economy is in a it's so much better of a place today than it was when I first took office I want to continue that trend I want to protect those jobs I want to be looking with we're looking to work with anybody uh, who has that same focus and I have have a lot of those strong relationships so you know I, I think obviously things are going to change in DC but I'm still the same representative who's going to fight for the interests of folks here in Southwest Washington here in here uh, during this uh, this campaign I know there's been uh, a lot of talk about the debates you mm -hmm. know especially in Vancouver the mm -hmm. lack of debates in Vancouver and more in rural areas uh, looking back do you uh, uh, can you kind of talk a little bit about why you chose not to debate uh, Carolyn Long here well let me set the here. record yeah. straight actually yeah. I did four debates with her and two of them um, were based here mm -hmm. uh, they're online they were I think my first one was two hours with the Columbian Ed board that's all online um, and you know I think we went through every issue we could pop from impeachment to the economy to taxes is, and there are very few issues that we didn't touch on and so I think um, all four of those debates have been made available in public and people have seen them what I think is important to recognize is I was outspent by well over a million dollars right and yet people still step forward and thought okay maybe we should you know it, people question that and and so I think you know one of the things my opponent has said is um, it's easy to be bipartisan on local issues and she, she kind of said it in a dismissive way and in my mind I thought that's exactly who I want to be I want to be that representative that people think she's gonna get something done regardless of who's in charge and I think that's what resonates with folks here I mean they can in political showmanship is very right it's, it's been everywhere in this cycle I mean my opponents in a ton of rallies right and I think that's where she put her stock and um, you know I, I thought I'm gonna continue to operate the way I have which is focusing on those local issues and right now right now it feels it feels like that's where people wanted me to be and wanted me to focus on at any point here over the past few days, were you nervous about how the, how the polling was coming in and all of that? Of course. Yeah. I, <laughs> of course. This is a swing seat. This is not a Republican seat. This wasn't my seat. Um, but it wasn't my opponent's either. And I, I have had that in my mind. This could go whatever direction um, I think people here, what they care about is, are you one of us? Are you going to fight for us? And can we trust you? It really, they have given me a lot of latitude. There have been a number of issues that I don't agree with a good number of the electorate here on, but they've seen me fighting on their behalf. And I think, um, 
that, so I, I never felt like, oh, this is my seat. <laughs> it, it is an honor and a privilege to get to do this. And uh, it, it looks like I might get another shot. I'm optimistic, but you know, we'll see, we'll see. What did you think about the tone of a lot of the ads in this race? Uh, I know a lot of outside money came in, and when yeah. that happens, you lose control over, yeah. over oh, some of the ads. And so well, what, what are your thoughts? It was pretty negative. I, you know, honestly, I, I was taken, um, I think taken a lot more in by what was happening in the gubernatorial race in Oregon. Um, I don't know, <laughs> that, that, that to me took up most of my airwaves. Um, I do think, here's the reality though. Um, it does matter who's in this seat. You know, the folks, the folks here, they, were, they don't want um, uh, a government-run, single-payer health care policy. We have the best jobs market we've had in 10 years. We were double-digit unemployed in every single county up by five. And today, we're at four and a half and five and a half percent. They want, it matters, and, and a big part of that is because we passed a bill that really set, set free the economy. Right? And my opponent has pledged to repeal that. So I, I, it did matter. People did need to know the distinction. Um, and I'm not afraid of the truth. I think the truth is one of those things that can't be bottled up no matter how much money's coming in from whatever side, from whatever team. Um, and you know, this, this, isn't, this isn't something you do because you want, I, I don't get into politics if you need your ego stroked or if you, if you have thin skin, right? Because this, we're, we're, this is something that's not about me, it's about the people here and their livelihoods and opportunity and can they continue to raise their family, choose their job, um, choose their health care, afford their health care. These are real life issues. And so, yeah, ads are going to talk about those real life issues. And, you know, I think it's one of those things people, people aren't dumb. They're going to be able to see through the garbage. All right. Okay. I see All the right. cameraman all shaking their heads. Yeah, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I think Thank we're good. You. Thank you. I appreciate yeah. that. Thanks. Yep. Okay, that was our Wayne right, Haverly uh, there. You just heard from Rara Butler uh, just expressing a lot of optimism, and she said she's very humbled uh, by what she's seeing right now as far as being up by about four percentage points. I haven't looked, actually, in the last couple of minutes, so I don't know what the latest tally is. But at this point, she's very optimistic, uh, and we'll see what happens. Still a long night ahead. Back to you.